Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Virgin Media's TiVo box. Today I want to take you through a brief guide to the different sections of TiVo and how you can really bring it to life for your customers. Let's start off with the home screen accessed by pressing the home button on your TiVo remote. Now the first thing that might grab you as you're watching this is at the very top of the screen you have what look a little bit like adverts. In actual fact what these are, these images at the top are what we call recommendations. And this is what we call a recommendation bar. One of the amazing things about TiVo is that it learns what kind of TV you love and it starts to make recommendations based on that. So, based on what you're recording, based on what you appreciate or thumbs up with the thumbs up and thumbs down buttons you'll see available on the TV, TV remote and the kind of TV you watch, TiVo will start to build up a picture of that and will then recommend things for you. So for example, if you like things like The Mentalist, it might recommend CSI or vice versa. So it's a really, really powerful tool and it's exclusive to TiVo and Virgin TV. Then, if we start looking at the menu, the first option we have is the TV Guide. Under the TV Guide, you've got various different options, all channels, my favourites, HD, movies, sports and so on. Let's take a look at all channels. If we click into all channels here, it will list currently what is showing on TV. It's very easy to scroll up and down to see what's currently showing and even go left to right to go forward and back in time. One of the really cool things about the Virgin TV TiVo guide is you can go back a week and forward a week in the TV guide. The reason why you might want to do that is quite important. First of all, with TiVo, you have a, either a massive 500 gigabyte hard drive or a one terabyte hard drive depending on which TiVo option you choose. 500 gigabytes can store 250 hours of TV, that's a huge amount. Or the one gigabyte option is 500 hours, that's just an enormous amount of TV. And they make it really, really simple to record things too. Just highlight what it is you want to record, press the record button. It will then ask you if you want to record that episode. Set up a reminder, create a series link, and even explore the show in more detail. And the great thing with TiVo is you can record up to three things at once and watch something else you've previously recorded. And that's amazing, especially for households who maybe regularly disagree about what they're watching on TV or maybe there's different uh, sports games or football games, such as the Champions League, on different channels at different uh, sort of times. So it makes it very simple to record the stuff you want. And if you're the kind of person who's travelling a lot around the country, doesn't have a lot of time at home, being able to set things to record so easily is a real boon. Obviously, you can go forward a week, up to seven days in advance, by using the previous day and next day buttons as highlighted at the bottom of the TV guide there. It means that you can very quickly skip a couple of days up, so for example, this is Thursday, and then tend to record the programme you want to watch on that day. So for example, Mastermind. So we make it really, really simple on TiVo to record things. The other really cool thing you can do is access Catch Up TV straight from the TV guide. By Catch Up TV, what we mean is programmes from the last seven days available on the BBC, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5 and also some of the Sky channels through your Virgin set-top box. Now you might have noticed in the TV guide, you can see there are certain things here which have the C logo. For example, the weakest link. So there's a C with a sort of arrow which curls around the character. Now what that means is, that is going to be available on Catch Up TV, so you don't necessarily have to record it. And one of the really cool things about being able to skip forward and back days with your TV remote is because you can go back up to a week, if you know that from last night, for example, you missed the Easterners Omnibus, you can see it's available here in Catch Up. If I want to watch that now, just hit OK. And then I can watch it straight from Catch Up TV On Demand right here. Almost no buffering whatsoever, incredibly quick. And one of the reasons for that is because TiVo has its own dedicated 10 megabit broadband connection. And again, that's exclusive to Virgin. So using TiVo and even watching catch-up content will in no way interfere with the broadband in your house, which is run completely separately. So that means no buffering, no waiting, just enjoying your favourite shows when you want to watch them. So that is really, really cool. Other amazing thing you can do with TiVo is you can search your TV guide. And you can do that using the last channel button, as highlighted at the bottom right here, of the TV, uh, TiVo screen. Now imagine for a second that traditionally if you want to find something on TV and you weren't sure what channel or time it's on at, 
you'd have to get the TV guide and scroll through that, and that might take five or ten minutes. You might even skip past the thing you're looking for, and it's a pretty frustrating experience. Well, with TiVo, that's another thing of the past. By simply pressing the last channel button, you'll open up your TiVo search option. And it's very, very simple. So say, for example, I'm looking for EastEnders. All I need to do is put in one or two characters, and the TiVo starts to build a picture of what I might be looking for. It recognises that the most popular search in the is EastEnders, so let's put that right at the top for me now. So let's go and have a look at that. We'll highlight EastEnders. The bottom right here is telling me it's available on TV, on demand and HD. All gives, also gives me some information about some of the actors who are starring in that. And if I want to find out a little bit more information, I can drill down using the OK button and find out even more information about what's happening in EastEnders. So first of all, I can now see the next show is due on the Tuesday, 28th of May at 7.30. It's going to be on BBC One HD. I can create a series link from here, which basically means I can record every single episode of that show, so I never have to worry about missing it again. I can set it to record the next episode, or even get previous episodes from On Demand. One well, of the really cool things I can do is check out the upcoming episodes. And again, this helps you plan your viewing. So I can see whether an episode is new or repeat. You can see these are all new. I can see it's available on HD, and I can see times and dates. I can even explore the cast. If I want to know a little bit more about what Adam Woodyatt or June Brown or Steve McFadden are involved in, which may be available on Virgin TV, simply by highlighting them and selecting them, I can go and do that. So that's really, really smart. And we call that that's our search in our TV guide. So a really cool function, again, that's unique to TiVo. Let's jump back into the main menu by pressing the home key. The next thing Diana wants to talk about is catch up. So we talked about catch up there a second ago. We talked about having catch up available on from BBC iPlayer, from ITV Net Player, from Channel 4, from Channel 5, and also what we call Sky Anytime, which is programmes and content from Sky as well. Well, on top of that, Virgin do a heck of a lot of our catch up content, lots of it free. So, first of all, depending on the TV size and customer picks, you've got access to thousands of extra hours of content free of charge through catch up. So, for example, we do things like American box sets. So, the customer's a big fan on 24, there might be some box set content via XL TV. We also do things like pay-per-view events, so the boxing for example, recently there was a fight between uh, Carl Froch, um, you can check that out under pay-per-view and you can uh, basically subscribe to that event, be it boxing, wrestling, sports, whatever it is, and again, it's all done through there. You can rent out movies, so if the weather's terrible, you don't really want to go to Blockbuster, you're a bit bored, there's nothing on TV, it's great, Virgin have got you covered. Pop into the movie section and from here, you can rent out movies, you can see what's available in other content, like something we call Picture Box, which is a movie bundle. Loads and loads of stuff there. So a huge amount of extra content on top of the live TV available for Virgin customers via catch up. And we do literally thousands of hours. And again, because of that dedicated 10 meg broadband connection, no buffering, no waiting, just getting straight to your favourite programmes, your favourite content without waiting and less frustration. Next section I want to talk about is search and browse. So I talked earlier on about how you can search your TV guide, which is really cool, but our search doesn't just stop there. So straight away you might have noticed that we have YouTube on TiVo. Again, all made possible because of the dedicated 10 megabit broadband connection we have available. So now all of your favourite YouTube videos you can watch on your big screen at home rather than have your family cramped around a small laptop or a mobile phone screen. And that's great for things like movie trailers, for music, or almost any of your favourite YouTube subscriptions. On top of that, we also have music on demand. So again, rather than waiting for your favourite um, music video uh, to come on to uh, a TV, something like MTV, you can simply search for your artist or title of the, the uh, album, single, uh, uh, performer you're looking for, and you'll find it through music on demand there. And that's really cool. And the one other thing I want to mention is wishlist searches, because I think this is one of the strongest features of Virgin TiVo. So imagine for a second that you're a massive fan of an actor, say it's Robert De, Niro, Robert De Niro, and you want to see what kind of t uh, films you've currently got available through Virgin with Robert De Niro inside. Well, you can simply create a wishlist search for Robert De Niro, and what it will then do is it will go and list all the current active films or TV shows available through Virgin TV that you can uh, record. Really, really, really cool. But on top of that, you can create a wishlist search and save it so that in the future, if any Robert Nero related content comes on, your TiVo box will remember and record it for you automatically. You can also do the same thing for a director. So if you're a massive fan of a particular director like Steven Spielberg, create a wishlist search for Spielberg. Any of the films he's directed and involved in will be recorded for you. 
And on top of that, you can watch for places or keywords. So say, for example, you're going to Holiday to Boston. You can create a whistle search for Boston. The TV will remember that. And then it will record anything to do with Boston for you. Food, you love a particular type of food or a region. Whistle searches are amazing. So a really massive key feature of search through TiVo. On top of that, we have shows and recordings. So this is where all the stuff you've recorded is kept. And you've got various options. You can check out the shows you've got recorded. You can see what you've got planned. You can manage your series links. You can even check out recording hiccups. Or you can set manual recording if you'd rather do it the old fashioned way. If you pop into my shows, straight away at the top, TiVo has a really handy bar which tells you how much space you've used from your hard drive. So you can see here I've used 28%. And it put things in alphabetical order for you and in site folders as well. So I've got 12 episodes here of Revista de la Liga, neatly organised, so I'd have to scroll through each one to get down to Jonathan Ross. I can arrange it also by date if I prefer to have it rather than A to Z. And one of the really cool things that Tivo does, in addition to recording things for you, and you can see loads of space on here, is it has a recently deleted folder on here too. So, for example, if somebody in your family or a friend has accidentally deleted something you really wanted to watch, then you can recover it from here. So, again, saving those frustrations and hiccups from little mistakes that are accidentally made. We've even got a suggestions folder. So, in any free space you've got in your TiVo, we will record suggestions of things that you might like. Now, we'll never record over anything that you want to keep. It's purely only ever kept in the free space. We even highlight HD recordings as well because uh, TiVo supports HD free of charge, which we'll come to later. So that's your recordings. Next section down we've got is apps and games. So because TiVo is a smart box, we don't just do live TV, we don't just do catch up, we have apps as well. And we've got apps for all kinds of different things. So for example, you've got a Facebook account and you want to show off those holiday photos to your family from that trip to the show you were just on. Well, if we scroll down a bit, there is a, a Facebook photos viewer, photo gallery here where you can show off all those pictures. We've also got other things. You've got kids, you want to keep them from being bored. You've got various games here like Alice uh, Slots, Word Game, Scooby-Doo app down there, Cartoon Network content, lots and lots of stuff on there. On top of that, you've got access to things like the latest cinema trailers. So if you're thinking of going to the cinema, you can check out the latest trailers from here. National Geographic, BBC News, BBC Sport, and BBC iPlayer. And in many ways, this content replaces what you would originally found in something like teletext. Let's go back home. And then finally at the very bottom you've got a help and settings section. Actually that's really really useful for a lot of our customers who maybe aren't familiar with TiVo or some of our services. Through the help options you can get things like help videos which show you how to use TiVo and do um, other functions which might help you set up your box to get the best possible quality and control. You can set parental controls to make sure that only you have access to content and your children can't get that. Purchase controls, the only things can be bought by yourself, and various inf other information. Now let's go to the actual TV itself. And you do that by pressing the TV key. So first of all, this is showing you something in HD. Now with Virgin, HD is completely free of charge, which is really, really massive. I think most customers now are either having an HD TV or considering buying one. So having that functionality built in from day one is an amazing thing to have. And you can see the quality here is really, really good. One of the other amazing things about live TV with Virgin TiVo is because of the built-in hard drive, you can pause live TV at the touch of a button. And if you notice the green bar here, that tells me I've been watching this show for, you know, back to when the green bar started. And I can rewind up to a maximum of one hour back to see what I maybe missed. And when you start watching again, just press play. There's even a slow motion button, which is especially handy for sports, or when you want to perform your own action replays. So that's pause. On top of that, we also support the Sky channels. So for example, if you want to watch things like Sky 1 in HD, we have that, Sky Sports 1. We have the Sky Movies channels as well, and we have access to things like Sky 1, Sky 2, Sky Living. So all the best Sky channels are available on Virgin TiVo. And that concludes my demonstration of TiVo. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'm sure your customers will love it. Thanks for watching.